Hello, I'm Oksana and this is going to be my November favorites. So the first product, I don't really have any flat out fails, but I do have this first product which I really, really liked, but there's it kind of failed me in one way. So it's a favorite and a fail at the same time, if you know what I mean. I think it'll make sense once I explain it to you, but it is this blending sponge from Soho, which is sold at Walgreens. And I forget exactly how much it was. It's relatively expensive considering at TG Maxx they have the beauty blender type sponges for like three, four dollars. I think this was more like six or seven. So um, the other beauty blender dupes are a little bit more dense, a little bit more firm feeling. And this one felt a little bit squishier. And the actual beauty blender, which I've just kind of tested in Sephora, I've never actually used it on my face. That one felt the squishiest. So I think this is kind of in between. So I was really enjoying using it and I have not used it that much or for that long and or washed it that much or anything like that. But here is the giant fail. It is just breaking everywhere, all over the place. This is like the, I don't know, like low quality or I don't know what the word for that is, but it's just fragile, very, very fragile. Like I'm gentle with it. I just kind of gently, you know, put it on my face or first I wet it and I squish the water out. So I don't see why it should be breaking this much. None of my other sponges have even just like a tiny little rip in it. Not at all. But this one is like getting destroyed. So that's the failed portion of it. Considering it's, um, like double the price of the cheaper dupes. I don't understand why it's such worse quality, you know? So next I have a few products that have to do with contouring your face and highlighting and all that. I've been really into that. I've seen some photographs on the internet and they just look amazing kind of before and afters of contouring. So I was like, oh, I want to get all into that. Um, and I do want to try it with cream products, but I've been doing it with powder products just because that's what I happen to have. I have this pumpkin and poppy oak bark, which is fantastic for contouring. However, um, I really like to use it on, you know, right here but I don't quite like it as much for all over. Um, I have used it to contour my nose and it's okay there. I don't necessarily love to use it on my forehead just because it's like a taupe color and if you use a little bit too much of it, it's a little bit of unnatural, almost like a gray cast on your skin. So like right here, I feel like that works good, but other places I like to use more of a bronzer colored product. And so I've been liking this. It is the Physician's Formula Airbrushing Bronzing Veil Deluxe Edition Bronze Booster Light to Medium. So that's what it looks like. It's got like a little sun imprint. And I don't remember the exact ingredients of this, but I know that they have some other bronze booster powders. And this was the only one that didn't have something in there. I forget what it was. Maybe retinol palmitate or talc or... I'd be talk. I can't remember, but <laughs> this one worked for me in terms of ingredients. Here it is on my finger. It's a nice light color. It's definitely warm, like a peachy kind of shade. Um, it has a little bit of a pearlescent sheen to it, which I'm not crazy about. I'm still looking for something better maybe something matte and a little bit cooler toned, but this has been working for now and I've been liking it this past month and I've been really liking this brush to use it with. This is the Eco Tools by Alicia Silverstone. It came in one of the Alicia Silverstone kits and it looks like this. So I like it because it's small and it works really good. I applied that bronzer today. So I put it, you know, on my forehead, on like the outer part. I put it here. Um, then I put a little bit of the pumpkin and poppy as well, um, a little bit underneath my chin. I contoured my nose with it. So I like this brush because it's, it's also pointy too. So you can get like a finer little line or you can just use it like this and get a little bit of a bigger area, but it's precise enough where I feel like I get a good 
um, application of those products as well as this highlighter which I've been using in conjunction the um, lid is broken but this is the physician's formula powder palette mineral glow pearls in 1n translucent pearl so it looks like this it's basically a very um, light pearly nude-ish pink shade so I've been using that like down my nose, um, above my eyebrows, a little bit of my forehead, above my lip, um, just kind of your standard highlighting places and I've been liking that because it's a nice pearly sheen and it's nice and light in color so it's a good highlight and it's not shimmery or um, it's not like a weird color, it's a good color that kind of just blends into your skin so I've been liking that. And that is it for contouring. Um, there's this blush that I've been using a lot because I've been really into wearing a matte blush this past month. This is called Crystalline from the Conservatory. And I like this one because it's just a nice matte light pink. And it just works. I have it on today. Um, I do have that bronzer on, which I think is kind of making it look more bronzy under here, but um, I have that on. I like that it's matte. It's funny because I like to have a glow to my face, but I've been liking a matte blush, I think, because it doesn't accentuate pores like glowy blushes can if you have larger pores um, right here. And so I'm, I try to be careful and not bring my blush too far in this way, but I've just been using a matte blush and not really worrying about um, the where I'm applying it and then oh I'm really excited to tell you about this because I have been loving this it looks really funny <laughs> as you can see this is the Urzuli um, cream foundation cream to powder foundation perfect match cream to powder foundation and this color is called light which I'm pretty sure is the lightest color it has very nice natural ingredients it's weird because it's got like little air bubbles in there and then you can see the dent that i've made in it from using it it is very very solid and typically other cream foundations that i've tried have been a little bit i don't know like a little bit more blendable a little bit more smooth a little bit softer this one is quite solid here's what it looks like on my finger and then I'll just put it on the back of my hand here so if you just kind of like blend it I feel like that doesn't work too well on my face so what I do is I will dip like three fingers in it I'll get a decent amount of product on those fingers and then I'll rub them just like this to warm it up get it nice and melted because it's so solid and then I press just gently press all over my face I don't rub and I just kind of keep going over the same areas pressing pressing just like this and it ends up blending the foundation all over my face and the heat uh, for my fingers and for me rubbing it kind of makes it a little bit softer and easier to work with a little bit more melted and so I can usually blend it out decently that way but I like to also get one of my um, other not this one but my other beauty blender dupes that are a little bit firmer a little bit denser um, and so I rinse those underwater squish out the water and then I go over it just to make sure that this is even more blended what I really like about this foundation is how natural it looks on my skin. Um, I've definitely gotten some compliments while I've been wearing it. It gives such good coverage, but at the same time, it, if you apply it right and mess around with it, um, it'll look really natural, just like your natural skin, but just such good coverage. So I've been really enjoying this. And it was recommended to me by one of you in the comments section of my video that I did about Urzuli Cosmetics. So I'm really excited that you told me about it and that I tried it and I will definitely do a video on it at some point in the future when I get the chance maybe demonstrating how I'm applying it and kind of a more in-depth review but I have been loving that and this is I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in last month's video or maybe the month before but it's very dirty the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal almond no continuous almond sorry about that I pretty much Every time, I just use this as a base. I have it on today. 
um, base for my eyeshadows because I really like that it's skin colored. It's a little bit lighter than my skin. It just lightens, brightens everything up, uh, evens out my eyelid and so and lasts really good so love that and another thing from Jordana oh I'm really excited about this this is their best lash extreme volumizing mascara and this is fantastic um, I met Jen from inspired mom a24 recently and her lashes looked fabulous so I asked her actually later on I was like what were you wearing on your eyelashes when we met because I have trouble with mascaras and she told me she was wearing this and I was like oh I actually have it because I bought it when I bought these pencils and I just haven't opened it um, I haven't tried it because I have so many other mascaras so I ended up wearing this and I love it there is one downfall that doesn't bother me too much but it might bother some people and that is it does give you those kind of crunchy like hard feeling lashes if you know what I mean like if you touch your lashes they don't feel soft like natural lashes uh, which I don't mind because I don't really touch my lashes so I don't really you know I wouldn't have known <laughs> what it feels like if I didn't purposely touch them just to get the feeling just to tell you guys about it but other than that I love it it holds a curl great is one of the least smudgy mascaras I've tried which is awesome because everything smudges so bad on me um, let's see what else it doesn't weigh my lashes down it gives me good volume and length so I just really like it it has one of your typical little brushes but it's a little bit skinnier than a typical brush I think it's a little bit narrower looking to me so I have been loving this mascara and then I have been loving this eyebrow um, cream which I'm pretty sure I mentioned before but thought I'd mention it again because I wanted to mention the brush that I use it with this elf small angled brush it's like the perfect brush for me to use with this cream um, to do my eyebrows this is all I've been doing to my eyebrows for the past I don't know how many months and I love it this is from silk naturals in the color blonde and let's see what else oh I wanted to mention this I never mentioned this or very many skincare products in my favorites videos but this has been a favorite for a long long time and I've definitely used a lot of it feels almost like there's barely any left <laughs> so I might need to order more but this is Alba Botanica natural acne dote maximum strength invisible treatment gel so the ingredients are nice this is natural it does have salicylic acid and this just really helps me when I have um, those tiny little pimples this just really helps dry them up right away so they don't grow out of proportion they don't get too red I just put this on it's a completely clear gel put it on before um, I go to bed and it just really helps I've been using it for ages and I love it um, it's not quite as good for those bigger like cystic acne the ones that are like throbbing and like <laughs> you can feel it underneath your skin this is more for like the not underneath your skin kind of pimples um, for the ones under my skin I really like um, sulfur I don't have it here with me today but it's just um I forget what it's called it's like this little glass bottle and has this pink stuff with liquid on top of it and you dip your q-tip through the liquid into the pink stuff which is sulfur and something else and then you put that on your acne and it's really good at drying up any kind of acne but it helps me with cystic acne as well um, I'll leave what that's called below because I really like that I just forgot to bring it with me so that's kind of what I do for breakouts and then there are four lip products from Silk Naturals which I have been loving this month they're all kind of fall colors so the first one is CD which is a lovely very sheer plum I reach for this when I want something a little bit more natural because um, it can be applied very sheerly to just give you like a barely there kind of look and then pulse I've been liking that it's a darker purple this one can be worn sheerly as well um, I usually build it up but I really like that and beguile which is an amplifying lip glaze this one's a little bit more pink compared to the other ones but it's a deeper pink and engage I've been loving engage that's a really pretty 
deep color there. So you can see they're very similar to each other and I've just been kind of alternating between them. And I'm pretty sure I've worn all of them in some past videos. So if you want to see what they look like, um, I've worn all of them probably over the past month or two in my videos. And then I have been loving, still loving false eyelashes. I have the Red Cherry number DEL um, on my eyes today. They look very natural. They're very sparse. So if you want something kind of more safe, I think these are fantastic. I like Red Cherry, also really like Ardell. And I have been really liking this Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive for gluing them on. It's very convenient, easy to use, has a nice little brush. So it's fantastic, it works good, and that is it. Those are my favorites for the month of November. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.